Tadadada, Ilyas pun ada. Hey, good morning guys. I'm back. As you can see, my jersey, absolutely no jiao jiao. His jersey got a bit of jiao jiao, so it means he can go one size smaller. So, one thing I noticed about CSBD jersey, right, I've tried other jerseys going size smaller to be more arrow, but those jerseys when I wear, the zip area got, got jiao jiao wave one. But CSBD no wave when I go smaller, so approve. So anyway, we had Fraser today, we're only doing about 30 km up and 30 km down. Should be a good ride for my post-surgery ride. And later through the ride, I'll explain to you why I went for surgery a bit. Because hopefully it becomes educational and helps all of you. And we have Tong. And then Tong, Tong mentioned this ride has a very high entrance speed. <laughs> Premium ticket. Premium ticket. You didn't buy ticket? Technically, all of us bought tickets. No, no, this one very long already, I bought. Yeah, but still, it was a prepaid. Technically, I also prepaid. I mean, I didn't pay. I actually paid it last last few days. When was the last time you wear size M? Huh? Never. I probably wear size M when I was 12 years old. That's right. 12 years old. I'm wearing size M now, but I can tell you, it fits. So, I want to see how long this jersey lasts. Okay. <laughs> the girl behind the mask. Hard at work. Hard at work. Actually, uh, how does she look like? No one knows. Yeah, I, I said you want to look like before, you know. Huh? Until now. You still don't know how she looks like, right? Just photo gone. No one knows. KK, it's time to reveal yourself. No one knows. I also don't know how she looks like. No. I met her a few times. <laughs> Need to find her on Facebook. Huh? Very secret. Okay, I want to talk to someone which I find amazing, which is Leash Cycling. And he is the epiphany of how to become an influencer out of the blue. I learned something from him. So, tell me, brother. I know it. How did you suddenly become famous? in the world of cycling. No, 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 I'm not. I, all I do is I'm try, trying to make friends. So I just follow other famous cyclists, uh, connect with them via Instagram, and just, you know, just chat with them and, and, and follow events. That's all I do. So, in my point of view, it's basically the video I did last... I think last four months ago, I did a video how to join group rides, right? I think this is how you can join group rides. Uh, there's probably only three things to do. Uh, prepare yourself. Uh, be friendly and be active in social media so that people know you as well and then join them and ride safely uh. Thank you, uh. take care So what, what I noticed about Leash is he joined a lot of group rides he do a lot of postings and when he do postings he tag other cyclists and automatically with that he became very friendly with everyone and from that he became popular That's how you become popular in the cycling community be friendly and tag a lot of social media. Button. Yes, absolutely. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Secret. Aya, I go there, you go here. Aya. <laughs> I want to see the bike. This is a better mouth. This is a better mouth. This doesn't make sense. Wow, timing shot. Daniel's holding a camera. I just want to show you this. So, the important thing is size M. <laughs> Elevate your shots to the next level. Enjoy 50% off on One X2, 10% off on One RS, and any camera accessories from the 1st to 13th of November. Don't forget to click my Insta360 official link to get the free accessories of One Two and RS. Terms and conditions apply. Promo link. Oh, purple links a bracket. I shouldn't say that. Ah. <laughs> I'm equipped with my uh, CSPD glove. I have my CSPD socks. All purple today. Even my helmet's purple, so I'm all good. Hey everyone, I'm wearing size M. I'm wearing CSPD size M. <laughs> wearing size M, way. Because <laughs> of CSPD. Other brands, I wear XL. Whew.
Look at the size of the screen, way amazing. Help, help, help. Oh, the relay package also fast, then. Hey, natural talent, uh, nothing to do with the bike. Uh. Oh. Daniel, yeah. if I can follow you up all the way, I'm very proud of myself. Yeah. But I cannot. Bye! Why is everyone overtaking me? Uh? <laughs> and you also overtake me. Hey, it's only 4 km, you know. Yeah, it's only one. Tipula. Tipula aku. Penipu aku. Wow, Daniel, look behind you. You're facing everyone. Hey, imagine just now following Daniel and the group. I need to use 220 watts. Huh. I'm just going to maintain 180 to 190 watts I'm not going to use too much because it's a 27 km climb I'm only, I'm only at 9 km only <laughs> that's another what 18 km no my math sucks man it's another yeah 18 km more to go it's going to pace myself <sighs> also I'm testing the Megan strap uh, heart rate monitor it's pretty good with this heart rate monitor. I feel that uh, the heart rate accuracy is quite good. <sighs> I mean, I don't need to have pinpoint accuracy for heart rate monitor, but a good gauge is enough. But so far, I tested this with my chest strap. The numbers are similar, which is good. And one thing I like about this, the fact that I don't need to take off my jersey. <laughs> Simple. The only negative side of having your arm heart rate monitor is you have a stripe there when from the sunburn I mean suntan 15 km another 12 km to go I'm using about 100 watts that's the best way using 100 watts is the best way cruising up the hill so generally Fraser is 30 km of this route until you reach the clock tower so far so good Post a Jigger ride, not too bad. I'm using 100 watts, 15 km. Uh, my heart rate is about 137. Well managed. <sighs> Bro. Fresh air! Fresh air! Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to present to you Michael. Michael Laju! Banana? I brought me few for you all. <laughs> Michael, where's your umbrella? No need umbrella. No, no sun, no need umbrella. Please drink more water. Eat more banana. Yes. Don't put, <laughs> don't put chemical in your body. <laughs> Michael very sad. He bring banana down. Nobody want to eat, so he eat by himself. <laughs> eat all of it. Kesiannya. How do you feel? Emo. Emo kan? Yeah <laughs> hey, son. Hey. Where's Ray, son? Uh, <laughs> no, Ray. I don't forget. You forgot Ray, ah. Ray, he went to East Coast, you know. Really? Yeah, kesian kan? There's sun and no Ray. Hey. Uh, Daniel, you matchy matchy your bike bottle with your bike. So matchy matchy. Hey, you need you need a red jersey. Oh, got red some more. Your jersey maybe maybe got a red at the side there. Yeah, got. Or is that orange? Oh, red matchy matchy. Wow. Hey, don't move, don't move. Training shot. Okay, this is definitely the steeper part of the ride. So, oh. <laughs> and it's a, it's a tight lane, it's a one-way one way lane, so it's definitely much safer. You have Jimmy Chan in front. It's power over there, power. Uh, I tell you, beautiful weather, eh? now it's like 20, close to about 20 degrees Celsius. Ah, gotta love it. So, 8km, uh, they say, up this climb towards the clock tower, which is then the top of Fraser. So far, so good. I can tell you, this SPD jersey, what they say is right. It's very cooling. I think it's too cooling for Fraser. Ooh, it's a joke. Ooh, it's a joke. Oh, I can feel the steep, man. This is 
about 5% gradient feel a pinch it's been so long since I came Fraser Whew. oh the hat pin uh. hat pin sucks Why Yang? <laughs> like nothing. Can you do the famous vroom vroom? No energy. Climbing. Climbing, no energy. No. Climbing, no energy. Vroom vroom. Vroom vroom. The car behind me. Does the radar detect the car? Yes, the radar detect the car. Huh. Now we're at 1050 meters above sea level. <laughs> almost, I think almost 100 meter elevation in just one km. <sighs> so, so things relatively steep. 22 km only, my goodness, another 5 km to go. <laughs> when will this end? Whew. Most of it is about 6% gradient. The last, uh, last 8 km bit. So, just have to enjoy the view don't forget the pain and like what Shira say smile Shira say smile smile the pain away <laughs> Look at this hairpin, uh. ridiculous how sharp this is. 8% already. All the hairpin start to be 8%, 9%, 9 9%, 10%, yep, 11%. So there are some segments that's about 11%. Look at this hairpin, man. Ridiculous. It's a U turn. Heart rate also 163 already. Another four km more to go, I think. Another three km more to go. My heart rate is spiking to 160. Huh. It's really cold now. Feels like 17 degrees Celsius, I think. About 20 degrees Celsius. Gradient's about 5%. Huh. Just pacing myself, enjoying the cool air and the scenery. Probably I need to. Pedal for another what 10-15 minutes. Ah, let's keep on pedaling. We are here! We did it! Ilias the money! All the way! If if Abang Ilias didn't follow me, lonely! I will be so lonely! I did it! Hey! Why here there? Ah, ah, ah. Ah. I did it! Ah. Okay. Oh, okay, I'll, okay, that's quite a nice picture. I'll pause it for you. I'll frame it up for you. All, all the 30 km climb for this famous clock tower. He's so happy. Photographer more happy than the cyclist. <laughs> I it's like lounge, a lounge here. I mean like those small hotels here. It's very cold here. It's a coffee shop here that's not open which is pretty sad because there's not much food around here I guess. It's safe and sound. One, two, three. Do you all know that she's the organizer for today's event? Hiya! Excellent coffee here, so we're gonna get some coffee. 
Okay, if you ever do meet this van, uh, the root beer is excellent. The mint chocolate is infamous. And once you start having drink, drinking it, uh, like ganja, you know, addictive, you know. Every time, even though they come here and sometimes they sponsor the ride, uh, I will still order it because so yummy. <laughs> Sedap gila. Oh, thank you very much. No more ingredients. You don't need to go to Hogwarts to have butter beer. That's why. <laughs> here is where all the cool kids are. <laughs> the cool kid stops here. Lucky draw time! Okay, lucky draw has ended! So there goes the event. I think we're gonna go back down now, another 30 km down back to the cars. Damn fun right away. I think I just wanna add one thing is you no know, people is asking, you know, uh, why do you buy expensive jersey? Why you do this? I think end of the day, uh, jerseys they are good, you know, but for me I think I I buy the brand based on the reseller <laughs> I, because I think cycling is such a community based it's such a community based uh, if, uh, activity right I actually will buy CSPD because of the community <laughs> because of the people because of KK and organizing all this right yeah so sometimes it's not about the brand you know, it's about the community it's about the activities that they do for the people for the cyclists I think that's more important than the brand but that said, CSPD does do a decent jersey. I mean, everybody say, so far the M size fits me pretty well, so I'm pretty happy. So now we're gonna go down and that's about it. It looks bang oh. This is a roundabout, yo. Turn left, is it? Oh, I'm lost. So damn cool, eh? So cool, eh? So nice. Car! Now starts the enjoyable downhill. Uh. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. Nice to be out and about cycling again. I tell you, it's really nice to be out and about cycling again. Down here is very sketchy because the hairpin bends are pretty sharp and the roads are pretty bad condition. Razor Hill, the good thing about when you're going downhill at this segment here, right, it's a one way street. So you can have a bit more confidence of crossing the lanes and crossing the lines here which is safer when you're doing a sharp bend or apex at a certain speed but I still believe that don't go so fast, go within your confidence level It's marvellous Ray Look at the view Ah, Nice Hello. No, what you are doing is not wrong. What you are? Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 See, we stop cycling because suddenly the view is magnificent. Oh my goodness, look at that. I'm going to pause here for a while and let you all enjoy the view with some nice background music, shall we? Adi Agnes Adi Agnes is like she walked all the way there just for the photo Say hi! That is some commitment right there for the photo and then everyone is here enjoying the photo <laughs>
I can see why Fraser is quite dangerous. Especially when people want to go fast. Huh? Very sharp and small the road. How to become a cycling influencer? <laughs> From newbie to become famous. No, I learned from Melvin. Aye. I took his advice to heart. Don't go out there to the community. Be in the community, be friendly, right? Post. Yeah, connect with people. Ah, my advice got help people yeah. one. <laughs> ah, go, go, go. The Magin radar works pretty well, but there are a few things that I think uh, I noticed some problem. The first problem I noticed was uh, cornering roads like this, it just misses the car, which I think is no fault of the radar because it is downhill and it is, I mean, it is winding road, number one, uh, and as well as I feel that the radar. Uh, when there are cars stacked up behind, let's say for example three, four cars lining up behind, it only detects one car. And also going winding roads, uh, I do obtain some uh, misreads. For example, it detected a car, when I look behind, there's no car. So those are the, some of the things that I noticed about Magin radar. But overall, I would say Having it is better than not having it for safety. And also, uh, I would say 95% of the time is pretty accurate, which is, I think, for me, good enough. That's my feedback on the Magin Radar. Lah. Talking about the CSPD jersey, I love the jersey, mainly because of the community and, of course, the fit. And it's also very cooling. I'm also wearing the their CSPD base layer which uh, according to KK right you need the base layer to regulate your body temperature as well because how body works is when you have sweat uh, the faster the sweat evaporates the cooler your body gets so by having sweat wicking jerseys and materials on your body you do cool down and regulate your body temperature better and also um, the CSPD glove oh I love this glove way eh? normally I wear a size M on my glove, but CSPD I'm wearing a size S. Really fits very well. So that's it. That's an, in a nutshell everything I need to say about today's ride. And I want to give thanks to KK and Turbomat and the team and CSPD as well and POC and Cyclist Wardrobe because of the collaboration between POC and CSPD to have organized this ride. It's really fun to, to, to join this kind of ride. I really enjoy myself. Okay, that's all I want to say today and I'll see you <clears throat> next week I guess looking forward continuing my momentum and my daily routine of cycling because I really missed it for the one month and remember guys I'll end it by saying stay hydrated stay really hydrated some of you may be asking what happened over the month why no videos no cycling this and that so this is what happened actually why I went to surgery is because I had kidney stone so at least you all know and the main reason of getting kidney stone was mainly because of dehydration and that's strange because I drink close to 2 litres of water daily so I asked the doctor isn't 2 litres enough? he said it should be okay but again it depends on your diet as well and also your lifestyle so he said something that blew my mind, which is this actually. And it really... Oh, my radar telling me that there's a car behind. Pretty good. I'm enjoying the Magin radar. Quite useful. Okay, anyway, back to the topic in hand. 
So he told me, basically if you drink two liter of water a day, but the day you exercise, you need to double it. Because when you sweat, high chance of you losing close to two liter of water or more is pretty high, especially depending on the intensity of your exercise. So that's it. Basically, drink more water, and the day you exercise, double that portion. Makes sense, isn't it? Yep, so I hope that helps. And by the way, the surgery costs 50,000 ringgit. So for all you who do not have insurance, get insurance. And advertisement a bit, if anyone of you want to have a good insurance agent, my wife is a very good agent from Prudential. You can PM to P. <laughs> okay. Oh, then my wife also did tell me that um, now it's 50,000 ringgit, that the next 10 years with medical inflation, a simple kidney stone surgery will cost close to 200,000. Food for thought, you guys, food for thought. <laughs>